What is the sissy challenge? A great trick to have up your sleeve is a quick, intense, nasty little kettlebell workout that will get a whole lot done in a short period of time. Way back in 2011, when I was first certified as an RKC2, I met a couple of people from the EDGE Team Performance Center and Kettlebell Club who were also attending the workshop. Unfortunately, their Facebook page about the event seems to be defunct now, but they used to hold a contest event called the Sissy Challenge. It was essentially a contest to see who could do a twisted, and how twisted it is, ladder of 25 kettlebell swings and 25 burpees in the best time. 25 swings, 1 burpee, 24 swings, 2 burpees, 23 swings, 3 burpees, keep going down to 2 swings, 24 burpees, 1 swing, 25 burpees, told you it was nasty. As the number of swings declines, what a mean lesson, those burpees add up super duper quick. I remember first trying it in a friend's backyard in the middle of a hot Florida summer. After my face turned purple, my friend stopped her gardening and came over to see if I was actually okay. Don't try it in the summer outside in Florida. At the least, you'll scare your friends. At the worst, you might keel over. This workout is really best for people who are super solid in their kettlebell swing technique and have the necessary proprioception and abdominal stability to pull off a heck of a lot of burpees without risking lower back pain and injury. It is also essential to know thyself and not be too stubborn to take a break and walk it off from time to time. All of that being said, ever since 2011, I've made use of several modified versions of this twisted ladder, kettlebell swing, burpee pattern for other situations. First of all, you can easily vary the intensity of the swings by choosing heavier or lighter kettlebells. Remember, whatever you choose, make sure that it's a kettlebell you can swing with excellent form. When working with a small group, or if I have a particularly motivated and competitive client who wants a quick workout they can use at home, I offer the following variations. Go for 10 reps. To be honest, I do this version myself for a quick, high-intensity cardio session if I need to get rolling for a long, computer-heavy day. I may do the 10 rep version earlier in the day and then do a raw strength or skill workout later in the day. You can also swap out the burpees for sprawls, which are burpees with no push up and no jump, or remove the jump from your burpees. These variations are great for less conditioned folks or if you're using push ups, advanced push ups, and or plyometrics in your main workout and don't want to burn them out during burpees time. Here's an example that's in my regular rotation. 10 kettlebell swings, one burpee, nine kettlebell swings, two burpees, eight kettlebell swings, three burpees, all the way down to one kettlebell swing, 10 burpees. When doing the 10 rep version, I try to do it straight through. It makes for a fast, gnarly little high intensity cardio workout. It also clocks in at a total of 55 swings and 55 burpees. So it leaves plenty of room for other challenges in the session or day. Please subscribe to my channel for more and visit GearYourGirl.com.